Hello, I'm a technician at Alarm, and today we'll be reviewing the installation of the Alarm gate sensors. We encourage you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to click the bell to receive notifications of new Alarm user and installer videos. Welcome to our instructional video. We're glad you're here. In this video, we'll go over the following. Overview, mounting and alignment, wiring. The products we'll be covering in this video are the E-936 S45 RRGQ, the E-931 S33 PRGQ, the E-931 S50 RRGQ, the E-960 D90 GQ. However, our other gate sensors would be similar. Any of the sequel arm photo beams with model numbers ending in GQ are ETL UL325 compliant, and the normally open has a 10K resistor between the common and normally open for monitoring, as well as normally closed monitoring. The standard versions do not have a 10K resistor between the common and normally open, and can be used on older non-UL325 gate operators. E-936-S45-RRGQ mounting and alignment. Mount the sensor and reflector so they face each other. Connect the sensor's brown and blue wires to the power source as shown in the wiring diagram. The red LED will turn on indicating that the sensor is powered on. If the yellow LED is on, it indicates that the sensor and reflector are aligned, although it may still be necessary to slightly adjust the alignment. To find the correct alignment, slowly adjust the angle of the sensor and or reflector up, down, left, and right. Note correct alignment is reached when the yellow LED turns on. E931S33PRGQ. Mount the sensor and reflector so they face each other. Connect the sensor's terminal. 1 and 2 to the power source as shown in the wiring diagram. The LED will turn on indicating that the sensor is powered on. If the green LED is on, it indicates that the sensor and reflector are aligned, although it may still be necessary to slightly adjust the alignment. To find the correct alignment, slowly adjust the angle of the sensor and or reflector up, down, left, or right. Note, correct alignment is reached when the green LED turns on. E-931-S50RRGQ, mounting and alignment. Mount the sensor and reflector so they face each other. Connect the sensor's terminal 1 and 2 to the power source as shown in the wiring diagram. The LED will turn on indicating that the sensor is powered on. If the green LED is on, it indicates that the sensor and reflector are aligned, although it may still be necessary to slightly adjust the alignment. To find the correct alignment, slowly adjust the angle of the sensor and or reflector up, down, left, or right. Note, correct alignment is reached when the green LED turns on. E-960-D90GQ mounting and alignment. Mount the transmitter and receiver so they face each other. Connect the transmitters terminals 1 and 2 to the power source as shown in the wiring diagram. The green LED will turn on indicating that the transmitter is powered on. Connect the receivers terminal 1 and 2 to the power source as shown in the wiring diagram. The green LED will turn on indicating that the sensor is powered on. If the red or yellow LED turns on, you will need to align the units. To find the correct alignment, slowly adjust the angles of the transmitter and receiver up, down, left, and right. Note, correct alignment is reached when the red and yellow LEDs turn off. There is also a laser beam alignment system on the bottom of the photo eyes for ease of alignment. 
E-936S45RRGQ reflective beam wiring normally closed. Connect the positive brown wire to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative blue wire to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common white wire to the ground of the gate motor. For the gate motor connections, please refer to the gate motor manual. Connect the normally closed black wire to the ULN on the gate motor. E-936S45RRGQ reflective beam wiring normally open. Connect the positive brown wire to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative blue wire to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common white wire to the ground of the gate motor. For the gate motor connections, please refer to your gate motor manual. Connect the normally open gray wire to the ULN on the gate motor. E-931S33PRGQ reflective beam wiring normally closed. Connect the positive terminal 1 to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal 2 to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common terminal 5 to the ground of the gate motor. For the gate motor connections, please refer to your gate motor manual. Connect the normally closed terminal 3 to the ULN on the gate motor. E-931S33PRGQ reflective beam wiring normally open. Connect the positive terminal 1 to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal 2 to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common terminal 5 to the ground of the gate motor. For the gate motor connections, please refer to your gate motor manual. Connect the normally open terminal 4 to the ULN on the gate motor. E-931S50RRGQ reflective beam wiring normally closed. Connect the positive terminal 1 to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal 2 to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common terminal 5 to the ground of the gate motor. For the gate motor connections, please refer to your gate motor manual. Connect the normally closed terminal 3 to the ULN on the gate motor. E-931S50RRGQ reflective beam wiring normally open. Connect the positive Terminal 1 to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal 2 to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common terminal 5 to the ground of the gate motor. For the gate motor connections, please refer to your gate motor manual. Connect the normally open terminal 4 to the ULN on the gate motor. E-960-D90GQ dual beam wiring normally closed. Connect the positive terminal 1 of the transmitter to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal 2 of the transmitter to the negative of the power supply. Connect the positive terminal 1 of the receiver to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal 2 of the receiver to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common terminal 3 to the ground of the gate motor. For the gate motor connections, please refer to your gate motor manual. Connect the normally closed terminal 4 to the ULN on the gate motor. E-960D90GQ dual beam wiring normally open. Connect the positive terminal 1 of the transmitter to the positive side of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal 2 of the transmitter to the negative of the power supply. Connect the positive terminal 1 of the receiver to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal 2 of the receiver to the negative of the power supply.
Connect the common terminal 3 to the ground of the gate motor. For the gate motor connections, please refer to your gate motor manual. Connect the normally open terminal 5 to the ULN on the gate motor. This has been a review of the wiring for the reflective beam sensors from Sequel Arm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.